And all basically the Omni Count is doing is trying to hide one of the cards, or one or more cards, and make it seem like you still have four cards, okay? So all I did is I just have four cards here, and it could be any four cards, it really doesn't matter. Uh, this is just for practice. And you'll have one card turned face down, it's going to be the third card from the top, it's going to be face down. This is going to be an easy way to explain it and for you to understand it when you see it in performance, okay? So the three cards, one's face down, and that's all squared up in the hand, okay? Now what you're going to do, from this point, is you're going to perform the uh, count. You're going to start off by peeling off the first card with your thumb. Okay, so the first card comes off, you count that as the one. Now you're going to do a block push off okay, of, the, of everything above that last card. So the way you do that is you push down and over at the same time. Okay, so it, It's a kind of a knack, you got to get used to it, but you push down and over and it's going to push the two is one into the hand. Now, as this is where it gets kind of tricky, because at the same time as you pull off these two and count that as two, you're stealing the first card underneath here, okay? Underneath your hands here, okay? So the way you do that is I just kind of lift up in the back of my hand here, and I slide it in between my fingers, okay? So I slide it under my fingers here, okay? So again. Back to the beginning, pull off the first one, count one, then you push block push over. As you're stealing this, okay, count two, and you just push the last two off three and four. Okay. So again, do that one more time. You're here. You know, one, two, three, four. Okay, and that's kind of doing it a little bit slower. Let me show you in full speed. It's going to like this. You see. So um, what I have here is just have uh, four aces. Have one, two, three, and four aces. Um, and that's what it would look like in performance. So again, this is the key here. As you're doing a move, you're coming here. As you're stealing, you want to steal exactly at the same time, so no one notices anything. So it's boom, two, three, four. And another thing you want to do. I'm doing it slow, so it's hard to you do this right. But as you still, you want to make sure that by the time this card is, is out of the these two cards are out of the way, you don't have anything sticking out here. You want to make sure that this card is behind the first card. Just continue to pull it, but make sure it's either lined up or the whole way over. Okay, so that it you know it'll won't look like it came from here and went this way. It's got to it was here the whole time. Okay, so again, shoot one more time. Watch it in performance, you can see how I, I'm already here. See, by the time this is going, this card is here, like that, okay? So, one, two, three, four, just like that, okay? There shouldn't be any any kind of a pause. You don't want to pause when you do this. You don't want to stop and go two, three, four. You want it to look like you're just, you know, just taking the cards and doing them on your hand like that, okay? So, one, two, three, four. Just like that. Okay. So that's the Elmsley count, guys. Practice that. Get it down. Uh, I'd like if you if you want to go ahead and uh, post a video response showing me your Elmsley count.